What's going on, everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com, and today we are creating the Old Dominion Monarchs. This one was an absolute fun build to put together for various reasons. You had a couple options with logos. The uniforms are going to be a whole lot different than what you normally see, and I was just very pleased with some of the color combinations that you could play around with. So I was very pleased with the end result, and I think you will be too, so let's just get right into it. We start off with the primary color of navy blue. I just went to the far right blue, edited that one, and the RGB is 0, 48, and 87. Now when it comes to the secondary color, I picked white, mainly because the end zone came out more accurate than anything else. You can go with the gray, like for example, I went to this gray right here and edited that one, and the RGB for their gray is 124, 135, and 142. But in this case, I stuck with the white secondary color. Now, we will talk about the other blue here in a little bit when we get to the uniforms. But let's go right into our logo. Here is where things got actually pretty interesting in a fun way. If you look at the actual logo, you can't replicate that whatsoever. There's a lot of stuff that goes into it. The ODU, the lion, the crown. You just can't deal, you know, you really can't put that together with what they have in this game. So here were some of the examples or some of the options I had that I didn't like and I ended up with something completely different. The first one you can go to is the crown. And regardless of what colors you pick, the crown stays black, and I didn't like that whatsoever. If the main part of the crown was a different color, like it would adjust to your primary or secondary, it was possible I was going to go with this, but I just didn't like the way it looked like a gesture's crown or gesture's hat more than anything else. I just wasn't a big fan of it. The other generic option you had was the lion. The problem is that's like a female lion, and I just didn't like that. The actual logo is a male, and I, I mean, you could go with this. This is probably my number two option if I didn't like what I saw, uh, what I'll show you here in a minute. But this is what I suggest. If you go with this one, by all means, go for it. Or you can go with what I found that I really liked, and that was Columbia's logo. It was pretty close with the colors and such. You got an actual male line. And he's more menacing. Now, yes, the New York City skyline in the background doesn't really fit with what we're trying to do. But if you look at it, you know, very vaguely, you can almost see a crown kind of right there. Now, the navy blue is pretty close, but the light blue will come in really well once you see uh, some of the uniform stuff later on. For some reason, I just like this one a little bit better than the other one. And what's really cool is this is the first... NCAA logo I'm able to use in these created schools, which is pretty neat. So that's the one I went with was the Columbia logo. Nickname is the Monarchs. School name is Old Dominion. Abbreviated name is ODU. They are from Norfolk, Virginia. You go over to Virginia and it's about, I don't know, like right here, maybe kind of close. Somewhere around through there. Playbook and team type, you pick whatever you want there. Rival school, as is, yes, you can still pick Norfolk State, but Old Dominion is an FBS school now, so you may want to pick something a little bit different, uh, like an FBS school. You can, you know, if you got long-term aspirations with this team and you want to be like in the ACC down the road, you may want to pick Virginia Tech or Virginia, something like that. But for now, I just went with Norfolk State. Find song, you pick whatever you want there. Mascot, I could not find one that came close to what we was looking for, so I just went with none. Now let's talk about the stadium. It is SB Ballard Stadium. I went with the square stadium type, which is technically what they have. It's a nice little unique stadium they got. Now their stadium only holds 21,000. This particular one holds 30, but I care more about the actual look of it, not if the, the stadium is accurate in terms of you know seating. But this came out super close, so I was pleased with it. The orientation is north and south. Both stadiums, from from what I could tell over the years, has always been north and south. Scoreboard and video screen, they have a video screen in the north end zone. Now, if you look at the orientation, it's technically like northeast or northwest to southeast, but... 
technically their scoreboard is directly in, or the video screen is directly in the north end zone. And since most modern video screens are both a scoreboard and a video screen, I just went ahead and used both and put both of them in the north end zone. From what I can tell, they got one press box and it's on the west side. Field service, you can pick whatever you want here. According to the couple of images I'll have showing up, it looks like it's a grassy turf look. And that's what I went with. But feel free to go with natural if you think that looks a little bit better. When it comes to midfield logo, from what I could tell, it was their actual logo. So that's what we went with here. No 25-yard logo. End zone art, this is one of the reasons why I went with white for my secondary color. If you went gray here, well, hold on. I take that back. Maybe, uh, oh, let me go back to right here. Let's see. Secondary, none. No, I think I've done that correctly. I'm okay with what I've done. Uh, yes, so school name number two, and the end zone background is primary, and their end zones is the sim, you know, similar to some of these other ones, and they got like Old Dominion on one side and Monarchs on the other. Of course, we re can't recreate that, so feel free to put Monarchs or Old Dominion here. They don't have a track around the field, and I, from what I can tell, it looks like their stadium is right in the heart of campus, so that's what I went with for the backdrop. Now what we can do is check out the uniforms. This was a whole lot of fun. Now I can go ahead and tell you that the helmet is pretty much the same across the board for the most part, but we'll break every bit of this down. But here is our default home uniform. We got just your basic white helmet with the white pants and the blue jersey. So we'll start at the very top. We're gonna go with the single stripe logo and the helmet and the stripe are both white. The face mask color, here's what's a little bit different. If you notice in a couple of the images, they have like a chrome face mask, and you really can't create that in this game. But I didn't want to go straight white, and I didn't want to go with their actual gray. If you go on the field and you pick that for the face mask, it's very, very gray, like very dark gray. And I didn't like it too much, so I went with this one right here. It's the third one to the left at the very top you can see it's barely gray here but it's actually a little bit darker when you get out on the field pride sticker they don't use any jersey type it's single sleeve and they didn't do anything special with theirs in terms of stripes or anything but the jersey color is the blue the sleeve stripe i stuck it with blue i went number and logo for the shoulder and sleeve you got the numbers on top with the logo on the side and look at the logo in general it just kind of really it comes out great I was real shocked we was able to use an actual other team's logo. Now, if you think that's a little too much light blue for your logo, then yes, you can go to the other Lion logo, the generic one, but I think this one just came out just a little bit better. But it's up to you. Number style. They got a modern font with their numbers, and I went with this one. I call it the Chicago Bears uh, font. I, I, I'm pretty sure the Chicago Bears still use that font. Anyway, we got white numbers and they got a gray outline around the numbers this actually came out okay out on the field you'll see that a little bit later now this blue or this gray i went with the actual gray of theirs chess logo from what i could tell the ones they had or the like NCAA and such and we don't have that in this one player name of course is on pants style it's plain jane but this is the first time we got pants colored white this is the first time we got get to use the hip logo from what i could tell they got a hip logo on the left side and i think it came out okay belt color is going to be the same color as the pants for all four i'll go ahead and tell you that now so in this case it's white sock style you could pick whatever you want here because of course players pick you know whatever suits them best i just went with short but in the image to the right of this, you'll notice that the two, well, you'll see one of them, but both players in the image actually have blue socks. So that's kind of what I went with. But you can go white if you want. Again, players kind of go with different colors, however they see fit. Shoe color, I went with white. So that is the default home uniform. Now what we can do is go to the default away uniform. And... We got a white jersey with blue pants. And that's the only real difference outside of I changed the socks to white. But we'll go up to the very top. The helmet is the same as the home. 
single strap logo you got a white helmet with a white stripe the face mask color again is the third one from the left at the very top pride sticker none the jersey again doesn't change whatsoever except of course it's white now but the font is now blue with a gray outline the number style stays the same chest logo none player name on pants style again that stays the same pants color is blue hip logo to the left i like the way it pops right there it really stands out belt color is going to be the same as the pants Sh socks i went with short this time i went with white for both the sock and the shoe now let's talk about the alternate home uniform old dominion came out with a powder blue look recently and i think it came out really well especially in this game and it fits perfectly with the logo that's the other reason why i went with this logo it just it matches great with this light blue look so let's go to the very top the only difference with this helmet compared to the other one is the face mask color i went with white from what i could tell that's exactly what they went with it's not a chrome they went straight white on that one but everything else is going to stay the same you get with the powder blue uh, color for the jersey color and the sleeve stripe. Number logo stays the same. So does the number style. Number name is white with the blue outline color. You do not need black. Blue comes out okay in this, as you'll see later on. No chest logo. Player name on, of course. Pants style stays the same as plain. Blue color. The hip logo is going to stay on the left. Belt color, is gonna, of course, stays the same as the pants. And I went with the sock style, just short, with the sock and shoe both being white. This is by far the best alternate uniform I have created so far. Just because I guess it's different than their default stuff. But even if you can't stand North Carolina Tar Heels, I'm not a big fan of them. But gee whiz, you can't help but think that look is pretty spot on. Now, last but not least, let's talk about the alternate away uniform. And it is a Stormtrooper look. I just basically replaced the blue pants with the white. You go back, the helmet is the exact same as the first two with that light gray face mask color. The rest of it is exactly the same as the away. The jersey, nothing changes there. You go down to the pants, nothing changes here, except you got white pants now. And the belt's going to be white as well. And the socks, and, uh, the socks is going to be short. And I have both the socks and shoes at white. So all four, I think, came out really well. And we're fixing to look at to see how good they look out on the field. Here we have our default home uniform. I think it came out real well. And if you zoom in close enough, now I know I'm dealing with an emulator here, so it's going to look a little bit better. But the gray is okay. You know, if I would have went black, it just wouldn't be as accurate as, you know, what the real thing is. And I think the gray is okay for even with the rendering issue. But you zoom back out. I just love the logo. I I'm all for it. But it's a nice, good, plain look. And you go over to the away uniform. I think it came out just fine as well. You could have went with a black outline here, possibly because you can see a bit of the rendering issue, but it's still gray, which is technically what they use. So I was okay with it. But you back out here, and I, again, just a nice clean look. I'm all for it, for sure. And here we have our alternate home uniform, the powder blues. And I mean, this is just sweet. I love every bit of it. And I love how the logo matches the blue. Just really slick all around. I mean, it's it's incredible. I, just something about that powder blue just gets me all kinds of excited. And even with what's interesting, and I may have goofed this up, I thought I picked all white for the face mask. I'm pretty sure I did. Make sure it's all white. I'm pretty sure that's what I had it set on. But I think it darkens it a little bit once you get out into the field. But anyway, I love the look of it, and I'm sure you do as well. Now, last, last but not least, we go to our alternate home unit or alternate away uniform. And I think this came out just as well. It's no different than the default away uniform, except you got an all white look. This is your storm trooper look. And I'm all for it. Again, if you feel like you need to change the 
the border of or the outline color of the numbers by all means you can do that it's just up to you however you want to do it but i'm happy with the end result on this one now what we can do is check out the rest of the stadium you can see the logo here and i think it looks really sweet again if you back off just enough it almost looks like a crown at the top of it <laughs> either way i was more than happy with especially since we went with the powder blue alternate home or alternate home uniform now you can check out the end zone that came out looking really sharp i like it a whole lot should be no different on the other end there you go there really cool then you can look at the rest of the stadium that is the south end zone and there is the west side with the press box and in the north end zone you got both the scoreboard and the video screen and that is pretty much it i hope you enjoy this one i had a whole lot of fun with this one and for those of you who are interested in using it in your dynasty now you got something to work off of all right guys i'll talk to you later